What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be showing you how to move an app to your SD card. So, you may have tried this. You may have tried holding down the app and you see it gives you an option to remove the app or create folder. But there isn't really anything there that says, you know, moving it to your SD card. So you may have been wondering, you know, what do I do? So, one way you can do this is you can click your apps button here and then you can take the app and you'll see it gives you four options create folder app info uninstall and cancel but you can only do this if you're in your um, your apps menu and then you take it up to app info and when you're in this menu um, you see right here it says storage and it says for this app it's 218 megabytes of internal storage used. So what you want to do is you want to click on that and you'll see stored in and here it says internal storage. If it says internal storage that means it's in your phone and um, if it says external storage that means it's on an SD card. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit change and then it says internal storage SD card. You want to click SD card and hit move. And now this does take a little while. It may take about you know one to two minutes so you just gotta really just let it go once this is done uh, you'll be able to see that on your when you go back into the app like that menu that I showed you where it said storage it should say it should say how many megabytes or gigabytes are used and it should say external storage if it was done correctly if it didn't work properly you may have to do it again that doesn't usually happen, but I, it, it's always a possibility it could. So just double check to make sure it went through. And also, you will um, run across a couple apps that don't have that storage menu. And that's not an uncommon thing. Some apps just, they need to use um, part of your operating system in your phone and if it was moved to an SD card it can't access that operating system so the app wouldn't function properly so it's um, so those apps you just have to keep them on your on your phone storage which can be annoying especially if you don't have that much storage but there's not really anything you can do about it if you um, need to use that app so just you, that's why when you go to buy a new phone it's always better to um, make sure it has a lot of a lot of phone storage as well as you know room for an SD card because then you can kind of like um, mix match with both and hopefully you'll have enough storage for those apps that do not want you to um, that won't let you move them so now you see that it is done and as you can see it says external storage device here so that means that it did um, successfully transfer to my SD card now what I was saying before about the apps that don't always move. If you look here, if I try to move this one and I go to App Info and I click the storage, there's no button here to move it to an SD card. So if you see that, don't be like, why isn't it there? And the other way that you can move apps to your SD card is if you scroll down here and go into your settings, this little gear up here, um, and you scroll down to your storage you'll see my internal storage is very full because I only have 16 gigabytes and I have a lot of apps so if you click on this internal storage tab you'll see that it um, brings you to this where it tell, it'll tell you it says calculating for each of these right now but when it's done it'll tell you how many gigabytes or megabytes or kilobytes are um, used for each of those so if you want to move an app you click on the apps tab and it'll bring up all your apps and then to move one, all you have to do is click on it, and you'll get that same menu that um, you got from going to your apps menu and then uh, asking for more info on the app. So that's two ways that you can um, move an app to your SD card, or if you want to move it back to your, um, your internal storage, either or works the same way. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please drop a like. Leave a, it really does help. 
leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.